A very rare performance from the legendary protest singer is packed with songs, stories and special guests. The best artists don't always pull the biggest crowds. The lineup for this weekend's Byron Bay Blues Fest is packed with household names. Some of the country's biggest stars Midnight Oil, Missy Higgins, Paul Kelly and countless more are in the Byron Shire to play to tens of thousands of hungry music lovers. Over in the smaller Delta tent on Saturday evening, a smaller and more subdued crowd gather to see Murray Mankev Carmody, a singer-songwriter, who has inspired all of those aforementioned artists and countless others since releasing his groundbreaking debut album Pillars of Society in 1988. Share Facebook, Twitter, Mail, WhatsApp Kev Carmody at Bluesfest 2022. Much of the crowd might not know it, but his very appearance is an enormous coup for the festival and an immensely rare treat for those who see him. This is Kev Carmody's first live show in many years, and there is no indication there will be more forthcoming. He hasn't formally retired from performing, but you wouldn't need many hands to count the number of shows he's played in the past decade. I don't know how Peter Noble, who runs this place, managed to get me back here, Carmody says at the beginning of his set. He waved the carrot. Then he started talking about the bloody big stick. Speaking with Double J's on row last week, Carmody said there was one thing that got him across the line. I'm doing it to bring people together, he said. He knows that his work still speaks to the current climate, though that isn't a particularly pleasant realization. I was going through the list of what I was going to play, and I look back and some of the stuff that I wrote even 50 years ago, it's a bit disconcerting, because it's still relevant," he told Zon. I'll put a number of happy songs in the thing, but there's a few there that still flaming make sense. Like Thou Shalt Not Steal. That's the song he starts with tonight. A powerful reflection on how he found certain Christian teachings hypocritical, given Australia's history with First Nations people. He knows that, at Bluesfest, he's probably singing into something of an echo chamber. I don't need to convince you, he says when referencing constitutional recognition of First Nations people, acknowledging that it's those who wield power who can ultimately make change. On songs like this and the epic Droving Women, Carmody bashes away at the guitar and delivers his straight-to-the-point missives with a strength that belies his 76 years. Songs like Moonstruck remind us Carmody is one hell of a country singer. Cannot by my soul proves he's still a dexterous finger-picker. Half of his songs are punctuated by Dylan-esque harmonica blasts that add an extra melodic and textural dimension. Share Facebook. Twitter. Mail. WhatsApp Kev Carmody and John Butler at Bluesfest 2022. John Butler joins Carmody on stage for a chinwag and a version of I've Been Moved, his slide guitar making the song tug at our hearts that little bit stronger. There's no pretense to the way he performs. It feels like we're all just sitting out on the veranda hearing stories and songs straight off the cuff. He abandons one song partway through and shrugs it off without concern. He plugs his albums by saying the bloody capitalists out the back instructed him to. He calls out to his family members in the crowd by name. It's bare bones. No bull. It's perfect. Our finest storyteller. A song doesn't make any sense if it doesn't have a story, Carmody says during his set. He tells a lot of them. Stories about traveling through Wollongarra with Sammy and Gordon Butcher of Warumpi Band. Stories about the strength of his mother, about his time working as a wool presser, about the poverty he witnessed on a trip to London. His stories are speckled with small but meticulous details, just enough to make it feel like you're in the room where it all goes down. The back of the cereal packet on which he wrote I've been moved, the living room he was in when he first heard Archie Roach's took the children away, the red marks scrawled over his assignments when he used oral history from elders as academic sources while at university. Share Facebook, Twitter, Mail, WhatsApp Kev Carmody at Bluesfest 2022. These stories are dappled with jokes, the kind that are objectively funny, harmless, and told with good spirit. 
a little levity that might seem at odds with his protest songs, but that further show Carmody's warmth. Passing on stories is Carmody's ultimate goal, and he encourages everyone in the audience to do the same. I never went to school till I was 10 years old, he told Zon last week. I was raised in the oral tradition where word images meant more because they stick in your head. What he offers is as powerful and educational as any book. Nowhere is this more evident than on his best-known song, From Little Things Big Things Grow. Carmody wrote it sitting around a campfire with Paul Kelly at Wivenhoe Dam in southeast Queensland. It's now one of Australia's most treasured songs, its conquering power after such humble beginnings making its chorus feel like a self-fulfilling prophecy. It's become the people's song, not just Kev Carmody and Paul Kelly, it's become everybody's song, which is great, Carmody told Zon last week. Share Facebook. Twitter. Mail. WhatsApp Kev Carmody and friends at Bluesfest 2022. He closes his set tonight with this anthem, joined by Butler, Mama Kin, Jess Hitchcock, and Kia Nuttall, and most importantly, every single person in the tent, who know every word to its iconic chorus. I really still enjoy Flamin singing it, Carmody told Zon of the song. And the best part of it is that you could ask the audience, would you mind helping me out on it? Because I'm a pensioner. I'm a geriatric. Just give it a go and they'll blast. It's just amazing how it brings people together from all persuasions. A shining star. The end of Carmody's loose and heart-filling set is as surprising and unorthodox as the rest of the show. Firstly, he goes over time by 10 minutes, a cardinal sin for any festival act. No one else would have gotten away with it. Then, festival director Peter Noble makes a rare appearance on stage, clutching a star-shaped trophy. We want to give this to you as an award to say thank you for all you've given, Noble says, presenting the trophy to Carmody. This man has been, and is still, one of the great voices for Indigenous Australia. One of the great voices for Australia. Share Facebook. Twitter. Mail. WhatsApp Kev Carmody accepts a Bluesfest Shining Star Award from festival director Peter Noble. Carmody, clearly taken aback and humbled by this surprise turn of events, is as quick with a quip as ever. I'm a star now, he beams, before turning to Noble. I'm gonna charge you more next time. If Kev Carmody does make it back to a stage at Bluesfest or elsewhere, he'll be worth every cent. To see him play anywhere is a rare treat that should not be taken for granted. To see him on Bunjalan country, his grandmother's country, is extra special. To see him with a crowd that might be smaller than those of his peers that idolize him, but that remain silent as they hang on his every song and story, proves Carmody has been successful in what he wanted to do. He shared his stories and he brought us together. We reckon Kev Carmody would consider that a good day's work. Byron Bay Bluesfest continues until Monday the 18th of April. Head here to catch up on all the action happening on the ground.